Wait, Lisa took Emma. How am I just hearing about this now? We were dressed to go trick-or-treating, and I just went by Kelly's to get a cup of coffee, and I had put Emma's stroller right by the door. And it, anyway, I realized that I'd actually forgotten the cup of coffee. I turned around for about 10 seconds, and I looked back, and the stroller was gone. That's awful. So one of Michael's friends, Abby, I guess she said she saw a woman in a witch costume push the stroller down the side of the building and then leave it there. Lisa is really stepping up her game. Yeah, it has to be her, right? <sighs> I just wish I had some proof. Well, you seem terrified. Did you tell Patrick? Yeah, I told him, but he said that uh, I was overreacting. So, of course, I I bit his head off. Just the last thing I need is for Patrick to doubt me right now. I guess being separated is not going to get any easier or less painful anytime soon. You seem to be handling it okay. Yeah, well... I'm not. I'm still so angry and hurt. Um, I keep lashing out, you know, and I just figure if he hurts as much as I do, then maybe I can get over it. I don't know. It's ridiculous, but I don't know how to forgive him without it making look, it look like it's okay, you know, that he cheated on me. Well, maybe you just need more time. I mean, you can't really rush how you feel. <sighs> right, but Patrick is Emma's father, and today is her birthday, so... I need to be okay with the fact that he's going to be here. <laughs> Mr. Duncan's vitals are so strong he wants to do laps around the floor. I'll tell him to relax. Plenty of time for that in recovery. <laughs> are these your rehab assignments, Dr. Sure are. You know, it is such a pleasure when the doctors turn these in early. I got a gold star. What are you still doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at a birthday party? Unfortunately, I won't be making the birthday party. You need to get to the birthday party, Patrick. It's in us. Chief, it's better for Robin if I'm not there. Is that what Robin told you? No, it's my decision. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, I thought you'd be gone by now. I, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go to Emma's birthday party for me. If this is about me going in your place, then then forget it. Not showing up is such a bad idea. I'm trying to make Robin's life easier right now. Okay, then go. It's your daughter's birthday. It is my daughter's birthday, and I'm not going to make it into an emotional battleground. The best thing I can do for Emma right now is to just stay away. Please. So I'm... No frowning at Patrick. No random comments about criminal charges or breaking kneecaps. Why would I do that? Because you do that every time you see him. And it's Emma's birthday. You need to suck it up and be nice. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. So good to see you guys. I'm glad you came. Oh, last two. Uh, Patrick is not here yet. Well, I think today's going to be easier than you expect. I hope you're right. But Emma is very excited to have two boys at her party. <laughs> Hi, guys. Is there cake? Yes, there is, but it's a super oh girly cake with lots of flowers. I'm sure it still tastes the same, though. Do you want me to go get it? Um, I think maybe we should wait for Patrick, right? Do you want to wait for Daddy? Hey, Cameron, yeah. come on over here. Have a chip. Come here. Hello. Hey. What's up? Happy birthday. Can I show her this famous fat wrapping job? Um, so, Patrick, yeah. Uh, He's got to pull into surgery, so he's not going to be able to make it. Okay. Yeah. Hey, after I uh, enter these notes, hey. I'm going to go in the lab and check on the contrast on your patient. Thanks. Okay. It's not too late, Drake Jr. I bet your baby girl's party is just getting started. You can be there to see her open her gifts. If you please don't tempt me. There's no place I'd rather be, but I'm trying to be sensitive to Robin's feelings right now. You picked a hell of a time to grow a conscience. Tiffany has a point. Well, look, I understand the ramifications. My father made it to maybe two of my birthdays growing up. Well, you're not your father. Well, I'm not going to miss her party entirely. As soon as I'm done the surgery, I'm going to get her present. I'm going to go over to Uncle Max, and I'm going to wish my baby girl happy birthday. much for bringing the boys. It's been so much fun. Thanks for having us. They're having a blast. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a good thing. <laughs> oh, done so soon? 
That was so easy, Mr. Duncan should get a discount. <laughs> Did you pull that out of Mr. Duncan? Good job. All right, I'm gonna take off. Party should be winding down. I'm gonna head over to Max. So let me guess, you got Emma a new doll. A doll? You kidding me? It's a race car. I have dreams of her being NASCAR Rookie of the Year. <laughs> That's a worthy goal. It is. Tell her I say good luck. Massive head trauma coming in from the ER. A fractured skull with us. Cerebral edema. Book or three. Sis, yeah, you got me. What a great party as oh, always. I know. You know what? I'm sorry I have to go to work. Otherwise, I'd help you clean all this up. Oh, it's okay. Uncle Max, you've done so much. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. Do me a favor. Get some rest. Okay, most of this can wait till tomorrow. But this little party girl, um, I think she needs immediate attention. <laughs> you want to get cleaned up? I just wish she had a dad that deserved her. You know, whatever I think of Patrick, he is a good dad. Huh? I know, I'll get you some chips. All right, listen, I'll try not to be too late, okay? Okay. Bye. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Say thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome, bye. How does it feel to be two years old? My goodness. Okay, get you cleaned up. My daddy. I don't know where daddy is. But look at, look at all the presents. It's amazing. So many presents for two years old. Okay, 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 okay.